Hey everyone, I'm excited to make this video because I think that it is one of the most useful features on the iPhone, and that is Maps. Maps can make your life so much easier, especially if you're out of town on a job site and you want to find a Home Depot or a place to eat, or who knows, I mean, really, it's just so useful, even for getting things like phone numbers and stuff. So I'm going to kind of wing this video, I'm going to kind of run through it and try to think of um, what what features I should cover as we go um, and I'll probably try to show you how to use Siri too. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to search and then um, basically how you can use your search results to obtain a phone number or directions and uh, and then I'll, I'll show you how to use Siri. So let's go ahead and open up Maps. Now you notice the blue dot. The blue dot is me or at least that's the phone. Um, so now if I want to search for something in this surrounding area here. I could just come up here and uh, let's say I want to search for a Home Depot. I click that and uh, just like that it's going to pop up with all of the Home Depots within the area here on the screen. Uh, eventually it should at least. It's going a little slow. So there we go. So now I can clearly see this is the closest one. So now I'm going to zoom in here and uh, now from this point uh, I can do a few things. I can clearly see how to get there. I'm the kind of guy who likes to look at a map and uh, see how to get where I'm going. I don't really like the turn-by-turn -turn instructions that you know car GPSs give. But so, so I'd look at this and I'd see, okay, I need to take Arrow to Mountain and I'm there. But if you're a directions type of guy, you can click on on the uh, pin here, uh, hit the arrow, and then you can come down and hit directions to here. So now you can see it's going to take me from my current location to the Home, home Depot's address, and then I'll click Route. And so now it's probably going to give me multiple paths here. So uh, these are multiple routes you could take. Of course, we're only looking at going 1.3 miles, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to click Start. Starting route to the Home Depot. Head east on West Arrow Route. So now it's trying to give me turn-by-turn -turn instructions. Um, I'm not going to follow them right now because I'm making a video, but you can see how it's done. Um, so I guess let me, uh, oh, another thing to mention real quick. Um, you can also get the phone number here for a location, be it a Home Depot or a hotel or wherever. It's pretty useful. So now let's go back to the map here. So let's say uh, I am looking to use Siri. Now I've made a video about Siri before and I've talked about a couple of her features. Um, and I say she, it's a computer, it's a voice assistant. Um, you'll just hold down the home button to access it. If you don't remember how to use Siri, then check out my other video. But then you'll just give uh, an instruction to the phone like take me to Home Depot or take me to Holiday Inn or whatever you'd like it to do. So in this case, I'm just going to use Home Depot for an example. So I'm going to hold it down. Take me to Home Depot. So it's asking me uh, which one. Of course, I'm going to take the first result here. Getting directions to the Home Depot. Come on. There we go. So that saved a few steps. I mean, if you're the kind of guy who likes to use Siri, then uh, Starting route to the I don't home blame Depot. you. It can At save you a lot of time. Route. It can save you a lot of time, especially if you're a slower typer and you don't remember how to get to maps. Siri can respond to a lot of phrases, and so you may find that uh, it's very helpful to use the voice assistant. So that's pretty much it. Um, I guess I'll show you, uh, whoops, it looks like my phone crashed. Let me see here if I can get that back up. Um, hold on a sec. That's odd. Let me try here. Give me one sec. I want to show you just how to change from the map view to the satellite view. Okay, so we're back here. So let's say um, you want to look, maybe you're stuck in satellite view. This is map view. So this just shows you the roads. It doesn't really give you details beyond roads and, um, and then, of course, the restaurants and things. So if you tap this button down here, you'll see a few options here. Hybrid is a combination of both satellite and standard. So what it does is it actually um, labels the roads in a satellite image. So we'll look at satellite first. So now it's got a reload here. So we'll zoom in on uh, 
our location here. So that's, man, that's pretty dang accurate. So that's where we are right now uh, at the Timberwolf office. And uh, now let me show you what it looks like if I do a hybrid. So now you see uh, we've thrown in the labels here for the, the roads. And um, you can also find these icons and click on them. And you can see uh, if you're looking for food, see they have a little fork and knife. Um, and you can find like Home Depot and stuff will we'll show up as a little store. Uh, let me find Home Depot. So you can see there's a gas station. So you can look in this view too and it's um, pretty helpful. So I hope that uh, pretty much covers everything you guys will need to do. I think it does. Um, really there's there's not that much to it. Um, I guess another feature you might appreciate is showing traffic. You can see the current traffic on the road, uh, on, on main highways and sometimes streets. Um, if it doesn't show anything, no color, no particular uh, dotted lines, that means that traffic is normal. Um, if you see like this, orange, that means that this particular section is slow. And if you see like on the freeway, you see red, like geez, it's 9 a.m. and we're in LA County, I'm pretty sure we can find some red here. So here's something. So, so there's an example of what a slow, slow down area in traffic looks like. Um, it's only orange. It's not red. Red is really common. Um, there you go. There's some red. So if you see that, that might be a, a freeway you want to avoid. Um, it just can give you a, a good idea of, you know, what your, what your drive will be like in the morning. So, all right. I hope that, uh, that just about covers everything. If you guys have any questions about maps, you can always email me, call me, or you can ask one of our project managers. I think they're kind of experts here in the office on using maps because they have to drive out to the job sites just like you guys. And uh, and they're all pretty, pretty tech savvy with their phones. So you can always ask one of us or um, just shoot me an email. All right, have a great day, guys.